people talk about, I want to go back to the way it was. We cannot afford to go back to the way that it was. There needs to be equity for rural. And I think this is a step towards doing that. You can't talk about value and quality without talking about payment. You can't talk about quality without talking about health equity and just recognizing all of the linkages and the interconnectedness. While quality performance is often measured in the aggregate, the goal of quality is to ensure the right care to the right patient every time, which means quality cannot be achieved unless it is equitable. So value is equal to the quality, including equity, and the services that we provide over cost, uh, where we're trying to improve everything on the top and minimize everything on the bottom or control everything on the bottom. Health equity isn't just about the healthcare value proposition, it's about the community. Everyone in the community benefits when everyone in the community has an opportunity to achieve their highest level of health and wellness. Schools, industry, businesses, these entities and systems all stand to improve as the health of everyone in the community improves. A key takeaway is the idea of leveraging the power of rural relationships and community to identify and address needs that are impeding the ability of all people to achieve health. Rural communities are well suited to create processes that foster collaboration and coordination across care settings and community-based organizations. We can reduce health disparities and better connect people to high quality medical care, but to really make a difference, we need to address the social determinants of health and equity that can protect some people and push others off the cliff. In June 2022, the National Rural Health Resource Center's Rural Healthcare Provider Transition Project brought together 12 nationally recognized rural health experts in areas such as healthcare policy, health equity, value-based care, and clinical quality. Summit panelists spent two days in deep discussion answering the question, how can rural hospitals and clinics move the needle in implementing best practices and innovative models for rural health equity? The summit purpose was to explore the role rural hospitals and clinics have in advancing health equity and to provide practical, actionable recommendations that organizations can implement. We need to be asking ourselves not who are we serving, but who should we be serving. By doing so, the quality of clinical care will improve for all people in these communities. This, in turn, will help these organizations move forward as they prepare for value-based care and positively impact population health and health care costs. We focus on four areas of opportunity chosen by summit panelists as the drivers to fuel health equity. Maximizing information services and data analytics. Leveraging payment models and value-based care. Synchronizing care coordination. And improving health equity through robust and educated board leadership. The report also includes resources in each area of opportunity and should serve as one of the many tools for rural hospitals and communities in addressing and achieving health equity for their diverse populations. I believe our community and our society is only as strong and as healthy as its most vulnerable members. In order to prosper, we have to raise the waters for all. To support your health equity journey, visit our website to access the full report.